Zionist. Yeah. You have Israel. You have Arab judges. Yeah. Israel is the only democracy. Lebanon used to be a democracy. It could be, but it's not. Israel is the only democracy and free country in that. No area. genocide allowed in Gaza. There is no genocide in Gaza. Well, the court says it is. Well, that's nonsense. Well, then, then you would say that the, the court knows better have, than you. Have you have you heard of better the than me? Have you ever heard of the bombing of Berlin? Uh, not Berlin, of uh, Dresden. Dresden. Yeah, that was considered to be war crime no, afterwards. No, it was not. Yeah, no genocide allowed in Gaza. Do you have 25,000 Palestinian, uh, well, so-called Palestinians who perish? In Dresden, it was 150,000 Germans. And you know who was responsible for the 150,000 deaths? Churchill. No, Hitler and the Nazis. Because the Nazis, that could have been avoided. The, the Allies said unconditional surrender. If they would have unconditionally surrendered at Normandy, this would, all these lives would have been saved. Yeah, but they were an occupying force. It's not the same context. And I told you already, what happened when they surrendered in, in Beirut in 1982? They can't do it again. They know that they can't do it again, Obviously and they the won't. Obviously, Israel does not have a death penalty, so they're not going to, they're not going to be executed. The only oh, they're person. about to change that. They're going to bring it back in. The only person who was ever hanged was Adolf Eichmann. And he deserved to be hanged. Yeah. He was arrested by the Mossad in uh, Argentina, and he was sent to trial. Late. It was very late that he was arrested. They knew he was there before, and they didn't go after him. They didn't go after him because Argentina kept not giving the authority to Mossad to arrest him. <sighs> Who cares? Finally, I, uh, because Mossad is not a criminal organization. It's, 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 it's uh... Oh, yes, it is. It, it carried out assassinations of ambassadors in Europe for years and years. Mossad killed a lot of Nazis, but they had permission of the governments to do so. Maybe. Israel is not an illegal but, country. But they were assassinating Palestinian ambassadors in Europe. They were, there is, there is no such thing as Palestinian and Palestinian. The PLO. The PLO is a terrorist organization. Yeah, well, it was they, you know, everyone has changed their mind about that. They don't it's want now a two-state solution. The Palestinian Authority. Well, do, 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 do you want And they're it? recognized by Israel, even. So, okay, then what are we going to do? Okay, here I ask you a question. Yeah. What are we going to do with the 7 million Jews in Israel? Okay, we hand over Israel to Hamas. We no. handed over Hamas. No. We handed over Hamas. I wrote a I wrote a book on so, what so, to do about so, it. So what are we going to do? And the book is called The Federation of Palestinian and Hebrew Nations. I recognize the happen. Hebrew Nation. And, and, look at and the, my book is in the library look here. At, do you, did, did you, when you did your research, sir, did you read the PLO Charter? Yeah. The PLO Charter says. And I read the Hamas to, Charter, the two of them, 1988 and 2017. It says they want a Jew-free Palestine. No, it doesn't say Jew that. Jew-free. No, that's Hamas Charter of 1988. They want a Jew. And in which they had anti Semitic, you know, not, concepts in there, yeah. Jew, but they changed their charter in 2017. I, they dropped I, I'm the. I'm pro Israel, I'm pro fact, I'm pro truth. Yeah, me too. So I'm telling you, 2017 charter, look it up. It doesn't have anti Semitism look, look in it, it anymore. Look at the guy with the there, he told you to fuck you. That's not nice. He couldn't be very religious, you know, like to talk like that. that you, you make a good point, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't even either. talk like that. I, 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 I agree. I'm not hardly <laughs> religious I, I, I at all. At least we agree to. Uh, I think we agree on that. Yeah. You know? No, I respect it, and, and that's what's. I mean, in Israel, you could do this too. You could, you could do this too. I and saw I, demonstrations in Israel in which the police go and rip the placards out of the protesters' hands, but there's too many protesters now, so they've stopped doing that. I, I'm not a big fan of Netanyahu to begin with. You know. Yeah, of course. I mean, Nobody he, is, but you know he's getting away with it. He's, he's, he's a right wing. Uh, he's a fascist. Well, no. I mean, I, like I have always said, maybe he wasn't before, but now he's turned fascist. And but, then, it, but his but his brother is a great hero, Yoni Netanyahu. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Look at look at the anti But they, they probably have. could have gotten hostages back in any case. The hostages, like in Berlin as well, that were killed, they were killed by the German police and not by the Palestinians because they didn't want to let them escape. What hostages? During the Olympics. There was 11 uh, Israeli uh, athletes who were taken hostage. Oh, uh, in Munich? Yeah, in Munich, yeah. No, it was an aptitude from the German gun because they didn't have a paramilitary. They didn't have it because uh, of political reasons. Yeah, and they so didn't they want had, to live, let them leave either. They had regular police. Yeah, and they shot them. It was the Palestinians who shot them, not the Germans. No, it wouldn't be logical for them to shoot them because they wouldn't be hostages anymore. They wouldn't have the protection of the hostages. Well, when they ran to arrest them, because they arrested all these Palestinians. Uh, 
they didn't arrest them, they, they assaulted them, they fired on them and the hostages, just like the Israeli tanks and, and Apache helicopters fired on the Israelis who were, who were you know, together with the Hamas uh, fighters. What happened in Munich with the, with the Arab? I have to read that, I read up on that. They, they were arrested, I think, the Palestinians. They weren't arrested, they were killed, together with the hostages. Well, from what I read is before they were killed, they killed all the hostages. And they committed suicide. When they knew it was... No. No, it's not true. There's so many stories well, why would the that people police, make up, why, you know. Why would the Munich police kill, kill the Jewish athletes? To stop the Palestinians from escaping, because they were, in a, they were in, a, in a vehicle ready, in which they were ready to take off. They wanted to arrest them. They didn't. They're not. They weren't anti-Semite. Well, they couldn't they arrest them. They were armed, you know. Like... <laughs> So they assaulted them. They didn't let them get away. So they thought that they, that's the way to win. You know, it's a military logic, just like they used military logic. You know, on October the seventh. And well, look at look at look at when they had the hostages in uh, in, uh, in Antep in Antep. That is the way you deal with terrorists. You cannot negotiate with terrorists. You never negotiate with terrorists. Where will it end? Well, ISIS is. Uh, yeah, I can understand that because they have no real sort of program. They're not asking for anything. They just want to kill. Hamas too. No. Hamas, they're a terrorist organization. No, they, uh, Even they, they weren't. They weren't in ISIS in the first place, and furthermore, they changed. They want the extermination they, of they, all Jews. They, no, they quit the Muslim Brotherhood, and they dropped their charter of 1988, and they adopted a position that was political, with a program well, well, calling for recognition of Israel, even if Israel recognizes Palestine, mutual recognition, well, not like Fatah the did. Only, uh, there's only there's only two solutions to this problem. There's only two solutions. Yeah? Only two. And both of them involve Germany. Both of them are what? Involve Germany. Germany. Yes. Because the Holocaust has taught us that we need a state, a Jewish state. That is non-negotiable. If there was no Jewish state, 800,000 Jews in the Arab world would have been exterminated. Erzak Weissman, the reason he started the, 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 nation of, uh, the, the movement for the nation of Israel is because there were programs in Russia, in the Russian Empire, that were exterminating Jews. Yes, and they thought that the, it would continue on like that forever. But they were wrong, because the revolution stopped the pogroms, right? We can stop any such anti-Semitism here as well. You mean the Russian We, we don't need a state, you know, like, like you know, like... Uh, uh, Seven hours away by air flight, you know. Like, no, but, but, we but, need to have protection here. But, but, the but, Jewish Bund recognized the Jewish need for security, recognized the Jewish right to self determination, but not the way the Zionists are doing it. But, what we need is national cultural autonomy. But, here but, in Montreal, in every area, every area, we need a Jewish government elected, not like here. You know, the uh, the combined Jewish appeal is not elected, and they control all the money in the community. You know, it's a dictatorship. So we need to right have right our own right. elections of government here, I, I don't and know. we have to have our own police as well I, I, I to protect I us. I don't know. I don't know about the United Jewish Community, but I know that the Taxpayers Federation is not a uh, not a not a democratic uh, attack, uh, not a democratic organization. Taxpayers? Not, they have a thing there. When the the Ministry of really, Finance of no, any government no, no, is elected. No, no, they have. The minister they has they to have, be elected. No, they have an organization called the Taxpayers Federation, which supposedly lobbies for the taxpayers and represents the taxpayers. That's a no lobby group. Uh -huh. We also have the National Citizens Coalition, which is supposedly a coalition of citizens. You know how many actual members there are in the in the uh, Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Twelve. <laughs> you cannot be a member of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. The, uh, the only you can be a, a, a subscriber. You get a leaflet. You can donate, but you can't be a member. So it's like the Gazette. Am I a member of the Gazette if I have a subscription? No. It's a front group or something or other. Yeah. The National Citizen Coalition was the same thing. It was it was founded by a guy called Jim Brown. Uh -huh. He uh, was he's a multimillionaire. He made a fortune. Jim and the, the National Citizens Coalition was founded in the 1970s by the late great Jim Brown, who was a billionaire. Well, not a billionaire, but a multimillionaire. Uh -huh. You know what his? You know how he made his millions? Selling medical insurance. <laughs> so when they introduced Medicare, of course he was against it. Yeah. That was the, the reason of the, the National Citizens Coalition. That's how Big Harper was a, was a spokesman for that. Oh, it's okay. a right yeah. wing. Like I thought, a conservative party front group. Yeah. You know, the National Citizens Coalition is also, you, you can't be a member. It's 12 people. Yeah. They both of them, they say they don't want to have members because they don't want to. Well, it's the same thing here. This combined Jewish appeal 
They control everything. They say they don't they don't want them to 